Hey, uh, Rudy, I guess when uh, when did you guys as players kind of find out the stuff with, with Nigel and, and Surrey and just kind of knowing that took what already was a short roster even even further down? Uh, we found out about a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we were heading into a practice and then, you know, we just got the news. Coach Robert delivered the news from there and we just had to, you know, deal with it. You know, there's going to be adversity during the season and stuff. Everything's, there's going to be ups and downs and everything's going to be smooth. So we just got to have guys step up and, you know, deal with it and keep moving forward. How did that maybe change your mindset? Just knowing that not that you hadn't played a decent amount already, but that you would be probably playing a lot more uh, tonight. Uh, yeah, I knew I was going to have to step up. You know, other guys were going to have to step up as well. You know, tried our best. And, you know, we just have to get better and get ready to prepare for the next one. Thank you, Rudy. Next question uh, for Kellis Robinette. Hey, Rudy. Um, what was just the biggest change today? Um, playing without so many guys? I would kind of say, you know, just being smarter on the defensive end, making sure we don't pick up cheap fouls. You know, some of us got in foul trouble. Davion got in foul trouble. You know, he had to leave the game a little bit. So, you know, now that we're undermanned a little bit more, we got to have to, you know, sometimes just got to let some, some of them go and then, you know, can't put ourselves in an even tougher predicament than we're already in. It seemed like from where I was sitting, at least you guys came out with uh, maybe an extra surge of energy because of the circumstances. Did it fire you guys up to know that you were facing some long odds today? Yeah, you know, we talked in the locker room and um, we understand that we really had nothing to lose this game and kind of moving forward with a shortened roster. So, you know, we just got to give it our all, leave everything on the floor and then, you know, live with the result. All right. Thanks, Rudy. You're welcome. Uh, next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Rudy, how's it how's it possible to keep a good attitude when you know things just kind of get a little bit worse every time? In terms of now, you're down to six. Um, you know, we just have to deal with it, deal with the situation. You know, we're all men, so there's going to be tough times. You just got to deal with adversity. Guys are going to, of course, have to step up, including myself. But now it's going to take, you know just a little bit more from everybody else. And um, we'll be all right. We just got to keep moving forward and getting better. How did you hold up playing the entire game? Personally, I was fine. You know, we kind of just, I try my best to just divide it into the media timeouts. So, you know, mm -hmm. just play till the next media, until the next media, halftime, and just moving forward like that. Thank you. You're welcome. Our next question for Michael Goins. Yeah, Rudy, this might be just another way to ask that, but, but looking forward, how do you guys bounce back and, and kind of recuperate your bodies and get ready for uh, Wednesday night when, with Iowa State coming to town? Pardon me, could you repeat the question, please? How do you guys kind of recuperate your bodies and uh, get ready for Iowa State coming to town Wednesday night as well as mentally bounce back from this? Uh, I'd say you just got to have a short-term memory loss mentally. Physically, we have tomorrow off, you know, usually on our days off, guys, you know, we get to sleep in a little bit and watch film. So we'll get tomorrow, you know, to re recover pretty much. And then, you know, we'll be back at it Monday preparing for Iowa State. 